Starting off with developing news, the first homicide case of the year in Hampshire County. A 23-year-old woman has been charged with murder, and this morning she faced a judge. Thanks for joining us here on Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson joining us live in studio tonight with details from inside the courtroom in Northampton. Maria. Chris, the 23-year-old woman from East Hampton is accused of stabbing to death her 23-year-old boyfriend in the apartment that they shared. He later died. Western Mass News cameras were the only ones rolling as 23-year-old Jean Marie Echeverria entered the courtroom in handcuffs. It is alleged that on March 14, 2023, Ms. did assault and beat a Brennan Blue. Echeverria is charged with the murder in connection to the death of 23-year-old Brennan Blue. She was arraigned Wednesday morning. This marks the first murder in East Hampton since 2012. Court documents obtained by Western Mass News detail how police responded to 2 Claudel Street in East Hampton Tuesday morning. And upon their arrival, they found blood outside of the apartment in the snow, on the landing and on the door leading to the apartment. Then inside the doors, they found Blue laying on the kitchen floor, who had appeared to have been stabbed multiple times. He was rushed to Bay State Hospital where he was uh, pronounced uh, dead. About a couple of hours later. The documents also say Blue was stabbed five times and quote, Echeverria stated that she had been in a physical altercation with Blue during which she armed herself with a kitchen knife and swung it at Blue after he pinned her against the kitchen counter. Officers say Echeverria was observed to have some abrasions to her legs, but otherwise did not sustain any wounds or injuries. And that, quote, Echeverria at no time claimed that Blue was armed with any sort of weapon during their altercation. Investigators say she was Blue's girlfriend and lived with him inside the apartment where the crime took place. It's our understanding at this point that they were in a, uh, a substantial dating relationship. A not guilty plea was entered. Echevarria is being held without the right to bail until her pre-trial hearing, which is scheduled for April 12th. Reporting live in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.